Hello, welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Cricket Puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the most efficient, quickest way, hopefully in a simple to follow up manner, to separate those six cricket bats from the stumps and then how you can do the reverse to put it back into its original position. Now the cricket puzzle is a level 2 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and a level 6 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the cricket puzzle for yourself, then you can pick it up from our website, puzzlemaster.ca. And without further ado, let's get on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled and in its original position cricket puzzle. So the first thing we need to do is get the orientation right. So we're going to be holding the, the cricket puzzle in this position. So the, the six bats are the start in this bottom left hand corner when you've got the bales at the top, obviously the gap in the middle, and the sort of semicircle cut out groove is in the, the right hand side as we are looking down on it. So the original position is this position here. So you've got the, the bat that's got the two bales on it and sort of like the bottom right hand uh, position. You've got two dots or two, uh, I'm gonna say grooves as well on the left hand side. And yeah, essentially just this position that you should be in in, the, in its original position. So what we need to do is a series of a few moves to separate these bats. Now there's a lot of different possible positions to be in for this puzzle. But the first thing we need to do is we're going to use the, the gap in the middle of the middle stump. And we're going to use that to twist over onto the, the right hand side in this position in here. Once we've done this, what we need to do is come up to the top on the right hand side. And then we're going to drop through with these two knobbly bits in this position so that we've just got the bat that has the stumps on it, or not the stumps, sorry, the bales sort of stuck to it. I think they're bales anyway, in this top position. And it's in this position here that we're now going to be rotating the six bats. So what we need to do now is twist around into this position here. Uh, yeah, and then we will pause here for a second. The twist itself needs to be an, a clockwise twist. So we're in this position here to start with. We turn it around into this position in here. You have to change the angle of the bats as you're going. It's, it's hard for me to describe the, the actual angles. But yeah, you'll figure it out if you uh, yeah just go with the clockwise twist and, and you'll get there eventually. Next, what we need to do is because we, we can't get down sort of in this position here to, to separate it from here, what we need to do is use the, the two bats that are below it. So we come up with this knobbly bit here and this knobbly bit here. So that in this position, we, we've now got again like we did at the start, so sort of three bats on one side, three bats on the opposite side. And from here, we can then slide down and we can now use the groove, the semicircle groove, to get that bat out of the way in this position here. And what we can do next is we can't quite get the this knob a bit out from this angle. So what we need to do is we need to come up to the top, slide that bottom knob a bit out first, and then that second knob a bit out from there. And that is how we disassemble the cricket puzzle. And for reassembling the cricket puzzle, again, we're going to be reversing all the moves that we've just done to separate it. But to start with, the same as we did for separating it, the orientation is the first thing we need to get right. So first of all, we're looking down on the cricket stumps with the bales at the top and the semicircle gap is on the right hand side as we're looking down on it. The orientation for the bats is a little bit more tricky. So we want to be looking at the side that has the two bales stuck to the bat facing up. And then there's two knobbly bits just below the, the, that bat. What we need to do first is connect these two knobbly bits before we can reconnect these, this bat with the bales on it. And we're going to be using the middle knobbly bit first. So we're going to come down into this position. We're going to come up. Then we're going to slide that up so that we can get the second knobbly bit up connected in this position here. We're then going to slide those down into a position where we can now get the bat with the two bales stuck to it. Now we can slide that on and into that position in here. Once we've done that, we're going to slide up 
and now we need to disconnect the two knobbly bit bats. So again, this one goes the bottom one first, followed by the middle one. And now we're just connected to the bat with the bales on it. And now we need to undo the, the twist that we did to separate it. So we came clockwise to disassemble it, which means we're gonna turn anti-clockwise. That's not anti-clockwise, this is anti-clockwise. 180 degrees until we get into this position in here. What we can then do is now connect these two knobbly bits below the bat. So we come on to here and we come on to here. And in this position, we should now be in the middle of the six bats. So you'll notice that this, this piece is almost like three bats connected together, connected to another three bats, if that makes sense. So this bit in here uh, is where we need to be in the middle. And once we're in this position, the last move we need to do is come down to the middle and then we just rotate through from the right hand side to the left hand side without that bat falling through. And here we have a, a fully reassembled cricket puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama Cricket Puzzle. The number of possible positions that you can be in in this one is quite ridiculous. And getting that sort of, the, the twist movement, the sort of, well, the important movement, that twist is quite tough and it has to be sort of in the precise position but it's much easier to sort of wiggle your way into that perfect position than it is to for me to describe this is where you specifically you need to be for putting it back together it's it's mostly just knowing what that original position is and then yeah just reversing what we did to separate it to get it back to that position but hopefully this has helped you solve the Hanayama Cricket Puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the Cricket Puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I'll see you later.